Sexual Arousal Problems Solved. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Welcome to this video where we will talk about issues like erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, and other issues that have to do with sexual arousal, either not being aroused enough, being aroused too much, too often, too quickly. So we're gonna dig into the causes the complications, which is very important, and the cure. So stay around to the end because I will share with you how you can get out of sexual arousal problems if you are being challenged by them. Okay, so first let me preface this by saying that erectile dysfunction and sexual arousal problems is running rampant with men across the world. So if you're struggling with erection difficulties or delayed ejaculation, premature ejaculation, you are not alone, my friend. And that's the first thing that I want you to know is that many, many people are struggling with this issue. They're just not talking about it. So I want you to know you're not alone because there is an underlying reason that this is happening and we're going to get there in just a second when we talk about the cause. But I want you to know you're not alone and yes, indeed, it can be solved. So stay with me for that. Okay, so what causes erectile dysfunction and arousal issues? So many people think that the cause is at what is the seeming source, the penis and the sexual area, if you will. But that is not the case in most regards. Mostly, it's a problem in the brain. Now, I want you to think of this this way too, is that if you have a cut on your foot, it is not your foot that processes pain. It is your brain. Pain and pleasure are processed in the same area in the brain. So when you have arousal issues due to pleasure, it is because your brain isn't working optimally. That is the real deal. That is the cause for most people. And the solution lies where the problem is. The problem's in the brain, that's where the solution is. So it works like this. If you are struggling, your brain is existing in a pattern that I call the pendulum effect. It's using too much fast energy and too much slow energy simultaneously. So that will give you anxiety, overwhelm, lack of motivation. It creates challenges, focusing, uh, your get up and go, got up and went. It will exacerbate sexual performance, anxiety, and issues there that are psychological issues. One thing that I see when I'm doing a literature review for erectile dysfunction is that many of the leading medical websites, including the Mayo Clinic, will say that the number one reason for erectile dysfunction is psychological, it's anxiety. But I know that psychological issues are actually neurological issues. So anxiety stems from a very specific brain pattern of too much fast energy. ADHD stems from a brain pattern of too much slow energy usage in the brain. So when your brain's using this pendulum effect of both of those at the same time, proper arousal isn't possible because the extra fast energy is what is known as hyper arousal, too much arousal. Your brain is too aroused when it's running so fast. Your brain is under aroused or hypo arousal when it is running very slow so that you might feel groggy, overwhelmed, sluggish, tired. So hypo arousal, hyper arousal are not optimal arousal. Optimal arousal exists in the middle. The brain pattern in the middle, I call it flow state, or actually that's what it's called. I call it the green zone because that's what it looks like on a QEEG brain map, the way that I can analyze brain performance patterns when I'm working with people. The green zone or flow state, it's in the middle. It's the sweet spot where you can enjoy experiences when you're having them. You can be present. You can be perfectly aroused, not over aroused, not under aroused. You can get aroused when you're supposed to and not be aroused when it's not 
appropriate or it's not the time to be aroused. So that is the cause. And I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into the mechanism. So when your brain is existing in the pendulum effect, using electrical energy inappropriately and efficiently in a way that creates hyper and hypo arousal, you're not able to be appropriately aroused. What happens then is it changes the cascades of neurotransmitters and hormones. So now your brain controls your entire body. That cascade from your brain is going down through your body, through your peripheral nervous system, which in fact runs your penis and it runs your ability to physically get aroused. And we know that that cascade changes. And so what happens is it will actually change all the way down in this cascade to your cells, to the muscles, to the blood flow into your penis for an erection. It will change the cells and it will create a danger response in the cell. So it's always on and it's exhausted, wired and tired. It's a wired and tired brain, a wired and tired body that cannot get appropriately aroused right down to the cells and it will change the way that the cells function. That is one of the primary mechanisms that your urologist will look for. Is there appropriate blood flow? Is there appropriate innervation? Those will be affected from your brain. So yes, it does affect your body, but it stems from the root cause in the brain performance pattern. Okay, so that's number one cause. Let's go to number two, complication. The thing nobody's talking about is that people have arousal issues because of consuming pornography. Take it in, because it's true. If you watch porn, you are frying the reward center in the midbrain, making it so that you need level 15 arousal, which is what you get from porn on a scale of one to 10, level 15. It's super normal stimulus, more arousal than your brain can get from sex in the world with even the hottest woman that wants to do funky things in the bedroom. She would be a 10. Porn is a 15. So you've trained your brain to need level 15 stimulus to feel good in a sexual way. So then when you go to be with a human, even the hottest one, she's only a level 10. And most women, honestly, most women aren't level 10s. We're trying, but we're all in the, you know, six to nine range because level 10 is difficult to get to. So you've trained your brain to need a level 15. And now you've got yourself a level seven who wants to be with you, but you can't be with her because your brain's been trained to chase down level 15. So those medical websites that I was referring to a minute ago, they don't even talk about this, which is tragic because what's happening is the reward center is being desensitized. This is proven by science. So that sensitization that would happen when it's time to get aroused by your partner, it can't happen well enough. And so sometimes when it comes to premature ejaculation, your brain is still riding the high of the level 15 and it's always on. When it comes to delayed ejaculation, you're trying to be with your partner, but you can't get there because you're only at level nine and you need to get to 15 and you're trying desperately within the sexual experience with your partner to get to level 15, but it's only a level nine. And so then you may have to go to fantasy in your mind to get you to the place you're used to going through porn. Porn is the problem, which is why I've used the tag, the tagline a couple times. Erectile dysfunction, it's probably the porn. Porn is disrupting your ability to be appropriately aroused. You have to leave porn behind. Okay, so number three is the cure. If you consume porn, if you try to go a different angle to cure your erectile dysfunction, it won't work. It's like trying to lose weight without changing your eating habits and to start exercising. It's like trying to find a, mu a miracle pill that's gonna help you lose weight. It's not how it works. You have to retrain your brain to be satiated with your level nine experience, which is awesome. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the happiness trifecta. It's supposed to be connection, pleasure at a level 10, we'll call it, and 
Happiness, which is serotonin, they call it the happiness trifecta of neurotransmitters. That's what your brain should be trained to go after. So here's the cure. You have to leave porn behind, which can be very difficult for people. That's why I offer a 90 day program. You usually have to get into a program to succeed, but if you're not ready for a program, dig into the videos here on this channel. There's over 500 of them that will help you begin and they may help you realize you need more help in a comprehensive program that takes you from beginning to middle to end, unwire, rewire, hardwire with the support that you need to succeed. If you're watching porn, you can't pretend that the porn can stay and the erectile dysfunction can go. It's not a thing. I'm sorry to tell you. You have to do the real work of retraining your brain to enjoy healthy arousal. Now, number two, practice healthy arousal. Once you stop watching porn, practice being with your partner in that happiness trifecta way. Relationships are awesome. Having sex with your partner is supposed to be fun and engaging and pleasurable and happiness and connection. It's supposed to feel good, not just pleasure at level 15. It's supposed to feel that happiness trifecta that's rounded out. Practice that with your partner. Do not go to fantasy. Stay away from masturbation. Stop lusting after other women if your brain tricks you into trying to find dopamine hits over in other people. Stay connected to your relationship and practice healthy sexuality. Go for level 10, because level 10 is highly arousing, but it won't get your brain stuck in hyper and hypo arousal, wired and tired. That is the cure. You need a program, unwire, rewire, hardwire, and then figure out how to create that healthy sexuality with your partner in a really healthy way. Now, before I go, I talked about how the cells are disrupt disrupted and it disrupts the way that blood flows and the way that the nerves are activated. There are supplement protocols that highly skilled doctors know about. So when I work with people, I do a full assessment, see where their brain is at, see where their body is at, and I use neurofeedback brain training to bring their brain into that green zone as fast as possible, and then I use the appropriate supplement protocol to help bring their body online as fast as possible too, and it works. So get with a doctor who knows how to help you bring your brain and body online it will shrink the time that you struggle with erectile dysfunction from the gap being so wide and long and arduous and the so the performance anxiety and the pain and the struggle it can be shrunk to the shortest time possible when i work with people it's usually four months and i can get them back in business so go to my website drtrishlee.com check out the 90-day program to leave porn behind if you're interested in working with me, check out the assessment. It's a four point assessment so I can see what you need to get you back in business. Okay. And as always control your brain or it'll control you.